people i am bharat acharya welcome to my new video today we are doing 8085 program for sorting of numbers yes the moment you hear the word sorting you know you want to watch this video because this is such a repeated question every third fourth paper you will find it entrance exam you will find it no matter where you are you go for an interview most likely you will get this i keep asking this finding the highest number sorting a series uh, block transfer program these are things a person has to know if he or she says i i am good with embedded systems and things like that uh, processor based programming anyway also in our day to day life we do sorting so much you open any folder you see a list of files sometimes you sort alphabetically sometimes you sort sort by the least modified or the earliest modified and so on you shopping you see a list of items you sort them the way you like some people like the most expensive one first some people like the cheapest one first some people like the one with the biggest discount first so next time you click on a sort button tell yourself i know how to do this program i've done it at least for 8085 and programming is something if you know it for one processor if you know it for one platform you know it you know how to sort numbers then as, even if you change the platform to c java whatever you know the logic behind doing things okay now as we been doing in the past few videos i'm not going to teach you this program just on the blackboard or just on a computer screen where i'm going to show you the logic i'm going to show you how to run this program on the simulator and what i'm trying to do here is encourage students more and more students to get into programming i've seen with my whole experience of 20 plus years of teaching the subject many capable students refrain from doing programming because somewhere down the line in the lower semesters they came across the subject and were not inclined towards it once a wall is built between you and programming many people just don't cross that wall or don't even attempt to cross it so here i'm not going to just teach you theory i'm going to show you how to run the program i'm going to show you how by this small minute tweaks one alphabet i'm going to change yeah just one alphabet i'm going to change the program and the same program instead of ascending sort will do descending sort okay so that's what you can do once you have a simulator and you have, you run the program on it you can play with it you can make your logic better you can see how many milliseconds or microseconds your program took improve your logic run the program again for all you know you'll just create a better logic than anybody else okay now without further ado let's start the first thing i'm going to show you the entire logic on the screen as a small presentation let's get on with it so here we are this is 885 programming sorting a series of numbers here's your question sort a series of five numbers stored at location 2000 onwards in ascending order so 2000 1 2 3 4 these are five locations you want to sort them in ascending order now if you notice all of this is in descending order as you can see so obviously i have taken the worst case scenario because that's how you will see the actual juice of the algorithm so this entire series will basically turn on its head and will come upside down and by that the entire series will get sorted at the end of it you should get 1 2 3 4 5 correct now let's begin we're going to be using bubble sort there are various sorting algorithms use any one you want i like bubble sort easiest one to learn easiest one to code but selection sort is also equally good and so are many more now you see a smile on my face because uh, yeah i invented my own way no i wouldn't say invented probably for all you know i was not that well read that i didn't bother to see probably somebody else has done before me but i had created my own way of sorting i used to uh, boast about all about it to all my friends i used to tell my friends the day i sit for the first interview in campus placement i'm going to crack it because i know what i'm going to talk about and somehow it was a company for databases banking that's the company that i worked in infinet uh, infinet banking was a software we created and foban was a company anyway so in the interview i showed my method of sorting and the boss was so impressed i knew at that point in time itself i got the job i didn't even have to wait for uh, the formal announcement that came two days later but anyway and you that's why this smile some day i'll make a video about it now coming back location 2000 has the data 5 Uh, we are going to initialize HL pair. If you've seen programs of ADA five, whenever you work with a series of numbers, HL pair is the best way of doing it. So you're going to use HL pair, initialize it with the value two thousand. What happens? The moment HL pair is two thousand, M is the contents of location two thousand. So M is right now five. Now we know we're going to come across five, then four, then three, then two, then one. So that means we're going to keep to accessing locations in a loop. So all I'm going to do is keep incrementing HL pair. Every time I increment HL pair, the next location will be M. 
M will be basically pointing to the location whose address is given by HL pair. So the advantage of using HL pair is I don't need to give addresses anymore. Once I've given the address in HL pair by just incrementing or decrementing it, I can access all these locations by a quantity called M. Okay, you know what M is, right? So the first thing that we can do, the algorithm of bubble sort goes like this. The algorithm is very simple. Compare two adjacent numbers. If they are in the correct order, leave them. Otherwise, interchange them. Say the algorithm again. Compare two adjacent numbers. If they are in the correct order, leave them. Otherwise, interchange them. That's it. That's the algorithm. Come on. That's all. It's so easy. Compare two adjacent numbers. Come on, look here. I compared five and four. Are they in the correct order? No. Ascending sort, they should have been the other way around. So if they are not in the correct order, interchange them. So they become 4 and 5. My first comparison is over. Now I want the next two numbers, which means 2001 and 2002. Please keep in mind, this has now become 5 and this has become 4. So I'm basically comparing 5 and 3 now. Are you understanding? These are your 5 numbers. You compared the first number and the second number. Now you want to compare the second number and the third number. Then third number and the fourth number. Then fourth number and the fifth number. Are you getting the point? So you compared 5, 4. You interchanged them. They became 4, 5. Now you'll compare 5 and 3. That means you need to make your pointer go ahead. So you'll increment HL pair. It was 2000. It'll become 2001. Are we clear? So you're going to compare 5, which is stored here now, and 3. Come on. Are they in the correct order? No interchange them they become three and five now repeat this for the next location Come on, now the word it's the same process in a loop right so you're going to compare uh, so this became three and five you'll compare five and two they will get interchanged will come two and five you'll compare five and one they'll get interchanged they'll become one and five are you clear your hl pair kept incrementing now you tell me how many locations hl pair kept incrementing i wouldn't have moved that down in my point of doesn't matter, you got my point, right? <laughs> now, how many comparisons did you do? One, two, three, and four. Because there are how many numbers? Five. Did you understand? Look at my fingers. You compared first and second, second and third, third and fourth, fourth and fifth. So you did one, two, three, four. Four comparisons for five numbers, not five comparisons. Keep this in mind. You give a count of 5, you do 5 comparisons. That means you compare this number 5 with some random number after this. And based on its value, that number will enter the series and one number from here will get out of the series. And at the end, you'll get a series which is completely different from the one that you expected it. Okay. So if there are n numbers, your count is n minus 1. We will keep that count in a register like C. So C will be initially 4. On every comparison, we'll decrement count and we will stop when C will become zero. Are we clear? <laughs> and now that pointer incremented. <laughs> anyway, so what did we get now? Did we get our final answer? No, this is not our final answer. What we have got is our first series where the highest number, like a bubble, has bounced off all the numbers and reached the end. So what has happened now is we got one series. Now what do you do? repeat the process all over again when you say all over again restart with hl pair at 4000 okay reinitialize count c to 4 you're going to do this process again now you'll compare 4 and 3 come on come on now you should be able to answer 4 and 3 are they in the correct order no interchange them they will become 3 and 4 the next number is 4 of course will come in the next cycle so next 4 over here will be compared with the 2 over here are 4 and 2 in the correct order no interchange so you'll get two four comes over here four will be compared with one are four and one in the correct order no one will come here four will be compared with five are four and five in the correct order yes so four will stay here five will stay here are you clear what have you got the second series now you're getting the idea do this again next cycle next cycle you're going to compare three so when you go back you reinitialize come on say this i want to hear you reinitialize whom HL pair and your count. Say this again. Excuse me. HL pair and the count. Both have to be reinitialized. So now you'll compare 3 and 2. 
not in the correct order interchange this is 2 this is 3 you will compare 3 and 1 not in the correct order interchange this is 1 this is 3 3 and 4 correct order stays there 4 and 5 correct order stays there 5 stays there are you clear almost done but still not done it's still not a perfectly sorted series so you got to do it again you reinitialize whom Tammy 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 you reinitialize HL parent count so 2 and 1, are they in the correct order? No, interchange them, you get 1. Now 2 and 3, correct order. 3 and 4, correct order. 4 and 5, correct order. Are you clear? Done. You got a final series. Now tell me in how many such big steps you got your final series? 4, because you had 5 numbers. So again, your outer count, your inner count, which does the comparisons was 4. The outer count, which makes series after series after series is also 4, is also n minus 1. If your series was of 10 numbers, both counts are 9. Are we clear? Yes, are we clear? And keep in mind, Sir took the worst case and started this. So if the worst case is sorted within 4 iterations, anything will be sorted within 4 iterations. Are we clear? So we need a second counter. One counter which was C was doing the internal counts. It starts from 4 becomes 0. Again starts from 4 becomes 0. Blah blah. We need one more counter that decides how many such series will be produced. That count we will keep in B. Okay. Every time we will decrement B and when B becomes 0 we will stop. So now here I want you to understand the entire logic for once. Okay, after this immediately we'll get into coding. Initialize HL pair with, with 2000. So you'll be calling this value M. Initialize B with 4. Initialize C with 4. Now start. Compare to adjacent numbers. If they are in the correct order, leave them, otherwise interchange them. Keep doing this till the time C becomes 0. When C becomes 0, decrement B. B will become 3. Go back and reinitialize C and reinitialize HL pair. So when you reach here, when you start all over again, what did I say? The two things that we reinitialize are HL pair and count. So reinitialize both of them and start the process again. So you'll get your count as 3. So you'll, you'll get your series number as 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. When C again becomes 0, again decrement B, go back, reinitialize HL pair and C. Blah. Do all the iterations. B becomes 1. Go back, reinitialize C and HL pair. The loop will break when C and B both will be 0. So both C and B started with 4. Listen to me. Both started with 4. Inner iterations. Every inner iteration C will decrement. 3, 2, 1, 0. C becomes 3. C becomes 0. B will become 3. You will reinitialize C. This is a loop within a loop. I hope you understand that. It's a nested loop. C again will be 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. When C becomes 0, B will become 2. All the way back reinitialize C blah 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 c becomes 0 c b will become 1 go back reinitialize c when c will become 0 and b will become 0 that is when your entire series has been sorted are we clear are you ready to do the coding this was all theory you understood sorting this could have been an explanation for c java vb anything for any programming language to sort a series of numbers this is what you do are you clear and now will come the coding of 8085 now this was the introduction since this was a highly requested topic i have made it up to here for everyone now you want to watch how to code this how to run the program how to test it how to change it for sort descending etc Come on my website www.bharatacharyaeducation.com The link is given down below. Over there you will see all courses of various processors. 8085, 8086, C86, Pentium, 8051, ARM. I teach many more but I have not made the courses as yet. Of course they will come up soon whenever I get the, possible, the opportunity for it. So select your course. This video will be there in the course of 8085. As of now I will put in the 8085 Hindi course also. Whenever I reshoot this in Hindi I will change the language but anyway as of now Programming has its own language. You understand? I'm sure you understood the logic by now, whichever language you prefer. But anyway, this will be there in the ADRE5 courses. Select whichever ADRE5 course you want. Click subscribe. 
make the payment. The moment you make the payment, your course will become active. There are tons of videos and we keep making new videos all the time. Watch the videos, learn properly. Every video is made with a lot of integrity and love for the subject. I hope I convey the same through the video and you learn it to the fullest potential. Moreover, in the subscription, you will get PDFs with every video. While you're watching it, there'll always be a link above or below the video, depending on whether you're on the app or on the browser. Click on it and the notes will open. Uh, again, the notes, we keep modifying them. We keep adding new things to it. You'll also get Viva questions. You'll get MCQs. You'll get all the material you need to thoroughly enjoy learning 808 fan. Be a champ in it. Okay? Most importantly, you'll have direct access to me. This is my WhatsApp number. Whenever you have a doubt, text me your doubt. As soon as I'm free, I'll definitely reply. Okay? Now, we continue with our program. I hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do it. Well.